All it takes is one look at the dock, and it's easy to tell that Cal Lake is higher than it's been in a long time. There has been a lot of attention paid to area creeks and rivers lately, as an unseasonably wet spring has pushed the waterways to flood levels. But all that water has to go somewhere, and now more attention is being paid to area lakes. With Okanagan Lake over full pool, people are watching and waiting to see if more flooding is in the future. People are also keeping an eye on Kalamalka Lake that has been steadily filling over the past few weeks. Coldstream has closed boat launches at the north end of Cal Lake due to concerns of wave activity from boats that could damage the shoreline. Waterfront homeowners are also keeping an eye on water levels, although there have been no reports of flooding yet. A lot of what happens over the next week or so depends on the weather, and according to Environment Canada, there is a chance of showers over the next few days, but things are expected to dry out after that. However, with sunny skies comes warmer temperatures, and with the mercury climbing to the high 20s next week, there are concerns a rapid snow melt could cause even more flooding. For Castanet News, I'm Darren Hanchu in Coldstream. Castanet has webcams, and lots of them. Click the cams button in our yellow masthead to see them all.